Good evening. So last week, 40 or 50 student protesters took to the administration buildings of Emory University to protest the facts that another student had written chalk messages in support of presidential candidate slash joke Donald Trump. They claimed seeing these opinions brought them pain and made them afraid for their safety. They also claimed that they were fighting for freedom by demanding the messages were censored. Kind of gave me an Orwellian chill. As you all know, I'm no fan of Donald Trump, but this is a freaking joke. Yet it doesn't surprise me at all. We now live in a 1950s horror film come to life. They smell. They make loud noises. They eat unholy things. You can run, but you can't hide from the attack of the 50-foot cry bullies. And that hand gesture is not as good as I thought it would be in my head. Why is this so horrific, so horrific though, you ask? The university's response is why. They predictably caved to the demands of 50 protesters who, instead of studying like you're supposed to do at a university, felt it was more appropriate to skip class and complain about other students exercising their right to free speech, however asinine it is. Because trust me, the ones protesting are known for saying things that are just as, if not more asinine than the Trump endorsement, you know. In statement, University President Jim Wagner actually condemned any support of Trump, claiming that support for Trump is not a political expression, but hate speech. Support for Trump may be the sign of a low IQ, but it's not implicitly a sign of hate, just stupidity. The university president also appeared to accuse students who were not upset and brushed the statements off as having privilege, which is basically the new liberal way of dismissing your concerns because of your gender, skin color, or just because you don't agree with them or aren't as pathetic as them. You know, basically if you're a man or you're white or you have more than one brain cell. It's really pathetic that Jim Wagner is allowed to be a school official. This is totally not isolated, though. The special snowflake mentality, it permeates American campus culture like a sickening cancer, a tumor on the face of American academia. The concerns of actual scholars are drowned out by loud liberals who call themselves progressive but engage in tearing down academia. Teachers are often afraid to teach subjects like history or politics or sociology for fear of upsetting the special little snowflakes and losing their jobs just for doing their jobs, you know? Add to that equation the fact that aging liberal professors are gaining positions of power in these schools and are not just enabling this kind of destructive behavior, but encouraging a campus culture that stifles free, um, free thought if it offends groups of selected individuals that they select. American academia is a joke. Just for fun, I left a one-star review of Emory University on Google that said this. This school is a joke. The administrators need to be fired. It's not a respectable academic institution, just an adult daycare. Don't send your kids here unless you want them to be unemployed in their 30s, sleeping on your couch and wearing adult diapers as they binge Anita Sarkeesian and crap themselves. That was a pretty good shot for me, especially at 3 in the morning, and it was pathetic to see the PC liberals in support Orwellian policy running to do damage control from all the one star reviews that were being put on the page as a result of this. This may sound pretty bleak, but not all of hope is lost yet. Recently, Professor Melissa Click was fired from her job as a professor of communications at the University of Missouri for ordering a physical attack on a student during protests last year. Sadly, the ringleader of the protests, a young man who talks about the oppression of African Americans, and is one, but you know, who talks about this oppression while knowing his father is a multi-millionaire, and he's never once been oppressed in his life. He's just a spoiled rich kid, you know, but he feels entitled. It's a good start, though, firing professors that enable this kind of disruptive behavior and encourage attacks on free speech and free thought. It's a good first step, you know. They should be expelled just like a professor or a student who would go and actually promote the KKK out in the open and say that, you know, students of color should be kicked out of school. As we see more things like Melissa Click getting fired, you know, things will get better and stuff, you know. We may eventually see administrators, you know, like this one here, Emory, fired. And the desirable end result is that students who advocate the disruption of the free exchange of ideas on campus may eventually be expelled for such an offense. It's a nice dream we should work to, because academia shouldn't be about 
going and yelling and screaming and stifling other ideas, but sharing and exchanging ideas. And universities and colleges are supposed to be about, you know, gaining new experience and having your mind challenged, not just hearing what you want to hear. Anyway, in the meanwhile, let's hear your thoughts and comments on this issue and the general issue of PC totalitarianism in campus culture and policies. And the transcript of this video is in the um, description below and everything. I did kind of go off of my transcript and everything. So it'll be a little different from the audio and the video, but hopefully this will help for people who can't hear what I'm saying and everything or are just like weirded out by me staring to the side here where I'm actually watching my thing record me. So have a good evening. And um, let's just hope that this is one of the last kinds of silly student protests we hear about in a long while.